<sighs> All right. Hello, everybody. This is a pretty serious Rayma message. Um, let me zoom the map in here. So, the last video that I recorded that I'll probably end up taking down fairly shortly, I was kind of just giving an update and saying how I was feeling anxious about a personal situation, about how I'm going to be moving soon, etc. However, after I recorded that, I communicated with uh, fellow seer prophetess Lindy. Uh, her channel is Wise Will Shine 777. I've shared her stuff on my community page before. And Lindy and I are friends, and Lindy and I flow very well together prophetically, and we sharpen each other. And I told her how I was feeling anxious, and to my surprise, she said she was feeling anxious. But she didn't know why. Now, I thought that my anxiety was about my personal situation. So then I had to ask God to clarify, and it wasn't. And Lindy's, um, her anxiety, she couldn't, you know, pinpoint where it came from, why she was feeling it. And so we both asked God, okay, Lord, is this about something personal or is this about something macro level? And God said macro level. And so I reached out to some other seers and right now when I'm recording, I have not heard back from anybody else, unfortunately, but we realized that, um... As often happens with seers, we just get a sense or an emotion or a knowing, a word of knowledge, a word of wisdom. A, sometimes we get numbers, we get wor words, okay? And so we just kind of knew, okay, something's about to happen. And we've also put together, okay, okay, this just is hitting us right at the tail, you know, like right after we just ended our 40-day fast. And we figured out that that 40-day fast, he had us do that just in time to prepare us for what's about to happen. Let me remind you that Jesus told us to, you know, uh, to pray and fast. And the, like, principle there is not just so that, you know, deliverance can happen at times, but just so that you are spiritually strong, okay? Well, so I had said that I had see that I kept seeing the last couple days 1010. And she said she did too. So then she shared with me how she, earlier today she had received, you know, this word and that word and this word and that word and one of the words was Madrid. And so she commented and she said, "I wonder if this has to do with La Palma because it's nearby to Spain." And I said, "You know, it's interesting. I said I had a dream last year of my brother calling me from Madrid. And I, and I think I might have even mentioned that on, on this channel back then. So I said, you know what, let me get my old journal and go look that dream up so that I can see if maybe it's connected to something happening right now. So this is my dream, April 22nd, 2020. Um, and it was the same day that I received that word about Culpepper, okay? And I, I, I don't believe God is telling me that, that, that this is, uh, I, I hate when I stutter. I do not believe that God is telling me that this is connected, that Culpepper is connected to this word. Um, I'm pretty sure I asked him that and he said no, but it was in the same day, okay? I had a dream that my brother Thomas called me from Madrid. And he was excited. His tone of voice was that he was happy to talk to me. And he said, hey, April. But I don't remember what he said after, hey, April. All I remember was that he, like, I, I, I just knew in the dream that he was calling me from Madrid. But I did have a sense that it was, some, it, that it was from the United States. Which to me made no sense because as far as I know, there's no Madrid in the United States. Well, I went to go double check that, and hence you can see I wrote down Missouri question mark, and then I, I just now I, I crossed out the question mark because I've now realized that. So in the state of Missouri, there is a, let me zoom in a little bit more. There is a, a town, I guess, um, or, or a section called New Madrid. Oh yeah, duh. 
the New Madrid fault line. Duh, whatever. But the Lord is telling me this is not about the actual fault line. This is just a geographical pinpoint regarding the Mississippi River. Okay. Um, and so her and I are just texting back and forth and like sharing stuff with each other and just flowing prophetically when two seers come together and they they flow prophetically it's very exciting because god is just putting puzzle pieces together um and so her and i both were just like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh um and so now i was like okay i gotta figure out the full interpretation of this dream now so my brother's name thomas okay if you go and you look up thomas Thomas means one of two, a twin, or doubt. Um, and then it goes on to say, you know, that other names, you know, can come from that, whatever. And so I said, okay, God, is this literally about my brother? No. Is this about doubt? No. Is this about a twin? No. Is this one of two? Yes. Okay. So as Lindy and I are texting back and forth... She says that she just received the number 1010 again. And by the way, 10 by itself means fullness. It means like the fullness of time, fullness of a season, fullness of a cycle, okay? 1010, 1010 means the house of Baal, which is Lucifer, okay? And then right after she said that she just received the number 1010 I looked at the clock and I saw 1111 and throughout this process I was figuring out that God had been already giving me a rhema word I you know we had established that okay this anxiety that I was feeling she was also feeling and so we are sensing that something's about to happen and God had given me the title time is up justice will be served Okay, and if you remember, just a few days ago, I gave the monthly rhema word, which I, I don't do that every month. Um, it's whatever God gives me or does not give me, but this month he gave me a rhema word, and he said that for the month of November, this would be a pivotal month of duality. Duality. Now, I know last year people were putting out a lot of words about, you know, judgment being a double-edged sword and so on and so forth. Well, that's exactly what the Lord is telling me for this month, Okay. And I'm not going to give any date or time because God did not give me that. But uh, Lindy, what puzzle piece he gave her, and, and she's going to be sharing uh, this on her channel as well. God told us both to share what we both received and maybe mention the process that we went through together. Um, but she received the word flood earlier today, and she also received the word flood somewhat recently. And... We put together, basically, that God is saying that in this area of New Madrid, Missouri, regarding the Mississippi River, there will be two floods. And what the Lord was telling me in my dream was that there would, he was talking to me about one of two, one of two floods. He was giving me a, a word or a, a puzzle piece um, about the first flood happening. So, that's what I know. Let me just pause and think and see if I'm forgetting anything. We talked about 1010, we talked about 1111, Time's Up, Fullness, House of Baal, Madrid, New Madrid, Mississippi River, Flood. <sighs> um, oh, right, okay, so back to the, the word that I, I was getting from him, just, uh, okay. So... Time is up. Justice will be served. Justice, if you look up the actual definition, you know, um, it just basically means a an official judgment as a judge in a court, right? And God is the ultimate judge. Um, but I do believe that this marks a time that that double-edged sword is going to happen. And so I believe what the Lord is telling me is that there is going to be, uh, I don't know if punishment is the right word. There will be punishment and blessing going out at the same time. And that is the duality. And these things, whether it's a punishment or blessing, will be pivotal 
They will be impactful. They will definitely have an effect. Um, so those who are abiding in Christ, I do believe that this connects with all the other rhema words that others have been releasing recently about how the Lord is about to part the Red Sea. The Lord is about to start manifesting the promises he's made to you. Um, but at the same token, there will be punishments being rolled out. And apparently, at least one of them is going to be a flood involving the Mississippi River in the New Madrid, Missouri geographical area. All right, Lord, is there anything else that I am forgetting? If there's anything I'm forgetting, I will put it in the description box below. Again, please always check the description boxes of my videos in case I forget anything, in case I need to correct myself, in case I put any links, in case I put any scripture, okay? Um, I do not pin stuff. I very, very rarely will pin something in the comments. I like to use things for the purpose of which they exist. The, the description box, the purpose of it, is for you to get any additional information. So you're going to have to take that effort to click on the little arrow to open up the description box if you're on your phone or whatever. Um, but please do always check there. So uh, I believe that is the full Rama word. Time is up. Justice will be served, and that includes the, the duality, the pivotal duality of blessing and punishment, and the punishment will involve flooding around the New Madrid area of Missouri by the Mississippi River. I bless you all in Jesus' name.